Good morning, everyone. We are Team C, which consists of Sharon, Joseph, and myself. And the beginning of the process as we started, because this makes our day three, so as we kind of rewind the videotape and take a recap of day one, I we remember starting off just basically brainstorming, talking about our title, thinking about you know where we need to go, how we need to get there. We then developed a, a basically problem statement from a generality standpoint and from a specific standpoint. But then as we got into day two, we decided, you know what, guys, we need to narrow in the focus and make some changes. And so as you know, we end up changing or basically narrowing it down so it could be a little bit more detailed so that we can have a process of where we're going to go and how we're going to get there. So we made that change, and now we're into day three. And day three begins with follow-through. And so as we talk about follow-through, we're talking about the fact that, A, we redeveloped our problem and purpose statements, number one. And as we go into this next day, we're going to take that, that information and focus strictly on deciding on how to establish this framework. The next part leaks, leaks to linking the flow with the new efforts. The key factor here, or the key word here, is linking. So we're going to need to monitor our progress today as we go through the, go through the process. We're going to have to be fast-paced because we got a lot to do in a little time framework to try to get everything in and get everything documented so that we can be at the level in which we have want, what we want ourselves to be at. This is a very, um, this is beginning with time in the process and being able to work with the final assignments of the paperwork. The last part talks about organizing the approach for the conclusion. And this is a timeline, it's a very tight timeline, and basically starts with us today. The completion of phase one and the end stage will be done by 8 o'clock a.m. on August the 20th. The completion of the final version of the framework by 10 o'clock a.m., and as you see, the designated individuals for each team is there. The third part is the completion of the conjoint read-through from 10 a.m. to 11. And then we're going to do all the reworks between 11 and 3, and that's going to be by the entire team. Now, as you notice, there's a slight variation in our topic so that we can make sure we adhere to APA requirements. So once again, we made a little slight change in where we were going and where we were going. Okay? And so now we're at a framework for training healthcare providers, electronic medical records, and the patient perspective. Are there any questions? Yes, sir? <coughs> You know, in, in regards, this is more about your process than so much about your article, but uh, when you, <laughs> I like how you actually put a definitive on your time frame today. I know there's a lot to be done in such a short time today. I'd kind of curious, I know, I hate this, I really like to see how you stick to your time frame today. That would be great. I'd like to hear a review of that. Um, I, I, know, I imagine somewhere along the line the day it'll get done. And it'll be interesting to see if you actually meet those time frames. So, well, I think it's on page two, paragraph three. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you stick to it, though. We we'll figured somebody got to see. Nobody else did. All drinks are on Eric. 